So hello, hello everyone. Welcome back Virgo. This is your bonus reading. Uh, for those of you who are new, check out the lovely ticker tape going by. It'll fill you in on what kind of reader I am and what kind of channel this is. <laughs> All right. Um, plus it'll give you some insight into the different language and words that I use here on the channel. Like when I talk about the mirror, what divine masculine and feminine really is and um, the different high and shadow alignments that we find ourselves in um, as a whole and with other people. So with that said, Virgo, do not forget to drop a like and leave comments and share it out with your other Virgo placement friends so that you can get more bonus readings every month. <laughs> For today, I'm going to continue with the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit cards by Kim Kranz as well as the Naked Heart Tarot. All right. For today's message. So, this may be a continuation of your other June reading. This may be a completely different message. One might have resonated with you and your own Virgo placements, and this one may resonate with a Virgo that you're cross-watching for. Okay, or vice versa. So take it, take it as it resonates. Take it as it resonates. It could be a, like an extended, it could be a completely new message. Just however it makes sense for you. If the other one didn't quite fit you, you know, it's kind of, you know, eh. <laughs> I believe we were talking about um, someone your soul smiles around us. I believe what I titled it for June. And it was about intuiting who you're meant to be with. And I will say this, your intuition is not the thoughts going off in your head. Well, I know this person is, or I felt like this person was, or I feel like this person could be, or if I had more time with this person, like, no. Intuiting is you smile when they're around. When you see them, you smile. At the very least, on the inside, because you might be trying to hide it on the outside. <laughs> but your soul smiles just because they're a part of your experience that day. You might find yourself smiling around someone a lot. That is your body physically reacting to what it's sensing on the inside. Because if you're around someone who you get bad juju from or bad vibes from, and you don't know why, but there's something off about that person, you're not smiling around that person. You're not smiling around that, that person. You might force one, but your natural reaction isn't to smile, right? So if you're intuiting someone to spend or who could be your forever person, uh, your body is a telltale sign. It is literally a divine instrument. So if you find yourself continuously smiling around someone because that's who they are in their energy to you, um, I don't care what else you got going on with anybody. You might want to consider who your soul is smiling around. <laughs> three, three, three on the timer. So, you know, shit. All right, Virgo. So here we go. Cards, please. Spirit, what is going on with Virgo for June? What message would you have come through in divine time whenever anybody catches this for that matter? All right. We got unicorn. I'm over here talking about forever people and we got unicorn. We just had the full moon in Sag go by. That's a full moon on this card. Clue might be strong Sag placements. That won't be for everybody, but you know, I'm a little biased. I love Sages. <laughs> I love Sages. So unicorn, right? This is about you being in your own unicorn energy and attracting unicorn energy into your experience, right? Because our mirror, our outer experience reflects based on the energy of our inner experience. So if you've had new people enter your 
space, right? Whether that's your home space, your work space, your friendship circle, so-and-so made a new friend, bought them around, like whatever it is that you're manifesting new energies in your mirror, um, this individual, you or the like, is extremely unique. They're one of a kind. They're one of a kind and they make you smile. Okay, you might have that energy. You might have that energy where other people around you can't help but smile because you're in your own unicorn energy. Maybe your smiles are contagious as fuck, right? And people are around you and they're like, hey, like, good morning, or hey, how are you? And hey, I'm so glad I got to see you. Like, and people light up and smile and it's a clue in your outer experience that you're doing something right because everybody lights up around you, right? Unicorn energy. So let's get some insight. <laughs> let's get in, let's get some insight into what this unicorn is for Virgo. Let's see. I believe Virgo, by the way, had the most comments in April, which is where the bonus readings for June came from, the April stats. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you feel like a unicorn. <laughs> leave a comment. Let me know. Because all of the stats for June are going to be what determines the bonuses for August. Okay. And because you've got a bonus reading, you've got twice as many chances. <laughs> twice as many chances to get more bonus readings. So. All right, spirit, what is going on <laughs> with Virgo, Virgoian energy for June? All right. Give me one more in clarities, please, so I can fill Virgo in on what I am looking at. <laughs> Okay, Virgo, you may have had a unicorn, a divinely aligned person, um, make their presence very connected with you, or their presence is extremely connected to you <laughs> in some which way, shape, or form. Your soul is kind of, hey, <laughs> knocking on your face like, hey. <laughs> Knocking on your third eye doorbell like, hey, <laughs> hey, this person's a unicorn, right? This person's a unicorn, which might be prompting old mirrors to shatter. Um, those that are not in alignment with your highest good. So if there are people exiting your life, please let them leave. Please don't let them stay hook, line, in. you know, like... If, if it's not healthy in some which way, shape, or form, then just for you or them, right? Hold compassion. It might not phase you or bother you or hurt your feelings, but if you're dealing with other people and their energy is a little erratic, right? Or they're expressing that certain things about your connection with them hurt them, um, you might want to show them some mercy because what you show others, you, you, you give back to yourself, right? And in, in the energy of exchange with spirit. So if you show another mercy and say, Hey, like, I know that we keep doing this back and forth. Um, but it's really not healthy and it doesn't, it's, it doesn't really bother me as much as I know it bothers you, which to be fair, that bothers me because I don't want you to be hurt when it doesn't, it, it doesn't bother me, you know, <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, because there's something you don't want to put work into here. There's something you don't want to put any more effort into. And that's because you're healing and you don't want to invest in that broken mirror. And someone's holding on and pouring out whatever emotions. We've got the Ace of Cups reverse here. Listen, we've got the Seven of Swords on the bottom, which means you can't lie to yourself about how you feel, which means if, if you can't lie to yourself, then you have to be really clear and not lie to someone else. Like, if it's not okay, then it's not okay. If you wouldn't want someone doing it to you, like, think about it just like that. 
if, if you care deeply about someone or we're starting to catch really strong feelings for someone and they just don't feel the same way, right? It's not that they don't like you. You're a nice person, but they don't see how it's going to work out. They're just not as emotionally invested as you are. Would you want them to continue stringing you along because you're benef they're benefiting from you in some way? They're benefiting from you, so they're stringing you along. Or would you rather just have them be open and honest and be like, listen, like you're a great person. It's nothing against you personally. I'm just not feeling the click. And if your feelings are diving deeper, then respectfully, I got to let you go before you dive headfirst and break your neck kind of thing. Because this, I'm not, it's not going to sit right with me knowing you feel more than I do and I'm only going to hurt you. I'm only going to hurt you. I'm not, I'm not invested. I'm not invested. Right. Because I would, I mean, me personally, I would want someone to be honest with me. Right. If you're not feeling me and I'm going all in and I'm investing my time, my energy, my money, my gas, my body, whatever, in a relationship and it's not, it's not clicking. Because to me, things click. Things work out and they flow. If you've got to force it to happen or it's not the way you want it and it's stuck there for whatever reason, then you got to let it go. Like an example would be like you, you, you both really enjoy each other, but someone's job takes them 500 miles away. Okay, well, does it really make sense to continue dating then? Because either we date long distance 500 miles away and rarely see each other, or someone's got to move back towards the other. And since you just moved away, like someone else would have to follow, you know? So do you stick it out and have it be painful that you're apart? Or do you just let, let spirit say, hey let it end on good terms without more pain than there has to be, right? Their journey took them there and your journey took you somewhere else. It's not meant to be them. If it were meant to be, it would flow. It would be easy. It would, it would stay in alignment. You'd be able to have these conversations like, hey, I, I got to take this position. I want you to come with me. Can you? If the answer is no, okay, then... I love you and I wish you nothing but the best. And life just handed us an opportunity to attract something better. No matter how good we thought it was. You know what I mean? Because right now with the eight of pentacles in the reverse and the star card, you're not willing to put energy into something. And that's healing for you. This is a wish coming true for you, Virgo. If you're not guided... To bend over backwards or put any more effort into something. It's because you're healing out of that mirror. And whatever those wounds are that said person has. You're not attracting wounded people anymore. You're in unicorn energy. And you're attracting unicorns. So the beavers gotta go. Like beavers are great. They're super cute. And they're helpful for a time. Right? They're helpful. But they're not the unicorn. Okay, but they're not a unicorn. The five of pentacles is clarified by the fool. Now the fool is also a unicorn. Okay. It's also a unicorn. A clue might be someone who has been broken right? A diamond that's been thrown back into a field of crystal. Like how the fuck is the unicorn single? How the fuck is the unicorn single? Someone treated them like a broken piece of glass or a fucking cubic zirconia and was like, no, I want this cubic zirconia instead and threw them back <laughs> threw them back into the field of cubic zirconias to pick up a different cubic zirconia because this one was bigger or this one was whatever. And they did not realize that they threw the diamond. They did not realize they threw the diamond back <laughs> 
into their freedom. And the diamond was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, and ended up broken, right? Ended up broken. They felt abandoned. Five of Pentacles. And you might feel the same way. You might feel like you're a fucking diamond. And you ended up single. And you're like, how did I end up single? I'm a catch. It's because someone wasn't looking at your value. Someone said, oh, this is bigger. This is shinier. And threw the diamond back. A diamond the size of my pinky nail is worth more than a cubic zirconia the size of a softball. <laughs> like, and someone was like, fuck this little dinky fucking crystal and picked up the shiny cubic, this big cubic zirconia. Like, yeah, that's what I want. And it's like, what? The diamond ended up single. Someone else can pick it up. Like someone's trash is someone else's treasure. Someone looked at the diamond and was like, yeah, fuck this. It's trash. It's garbage. Tanked it. I want this big shiny thing over there. And the diamond was just left sitting. And then someone, I mean, literally either you're walking by someone else or someone else is walking by you. And they're like, or both simultaneously. <laughs> Might be second taking a second look at the other, like, you're rare. There's something different about the way you shine. There's something different about you. Your soul smiles when they're around you. <laughs> something inside your chest just kind of feels light. Virgo. Whatever you're holding on to, or whatever is holding on to you, you can let it go. You don't need to hoard relationships. When you let go of old things, you make room for new things. It's like going to the dealership and trading in your car and getting a new one. Maybe you can't get a brand new car without letting go of your old one. You gotta let it go to get something new. It's no different. You can't date somebody new or bring in somebody new, a unicorn, when you're still holding on to the beaver. The unicorn's like, I'm sorry, you're busy. And they're gonna go doo -doo -doo, somewhere else. Like time, listen, time. Saturn moves around the cosmos like every other planet. It ticks along the numbers of the degrees of the signs like a clock. It ticks. The unicorn crossed your path. If you are in unicorn energy yourself, then I'm telling you right now, there is a unicorn in your path. There is a unicorn in your reality. Do not abandon yourself and feel like a fool later because that's possible. This is Lilith's Black Crescent Moon. You can abandon your beautiful unicorn energy and end up fuck. <laughs> fuck. Because all of a sudden that unicorn's going to end up with somebody else and your heart's going to sink a little. And you're going to realize you were fucking stupid because you didn't take a shot at it. You were too busy with the beaver hoarding whatever you were hoarding in your relationships. Well, I'm afraid I don't want to lose this because if I, if I go after that and it doesn't work out, well, then I lost it for nothing. You don't even want your beaver. Like, bless the beaver, super cute, wonderful person. But you don't even want to put real effort into it. So why are you stringing them along? Listen, I respect you enough to let you go. And then make room so you can go get your unicorn. Right? Virgo, I have faith this helps.
I love you and I will see you in July. Bye.